Um, on what internet stands for um, in our region, it must be said that internet has continued to reinvent itself and has done so several times in the past 20 years. And the technologies supporting the internet have also been undergoing uh, tremendous changes. Um, if we move away a bit from technology, uh, I like to say that it's also true to say that simply internet today is all about disseminating knowledge and about creating and consuming information or, if you like, content. And it's in the area of content I really like to talk about um, over this session. Um, and I'll say that there is need for more people to participate in the creation of content, especially content that truly serves the needs of the local internet users. This has not been as good as one would wish in the African region. And definitely, there is need for something to be done about that. And like uh, Robert said, the session seeks to ask whether the in internet is truly global. Um, I guess the Secretary General of ITU answered that question this morning when he indicated that uh, two-thirds of the world population remain unconnected to the Internet. But it's also true to say that such communities cannot be discussing local content generation when even basic access does not exist. Um, so uh, there is therefore a major link between access and local content development. And um, I'd like to also add here that um, as Jimmy Wales indicated this morning, Africa is fast growing infrastructure that will catalyze the reach of internet and broadband to currently on served areas. Um, not too long ago, multiple landings of international submarine cables from Europe and Asia and the Americas to the shores of Africa have also indicated that some revolution is on the way. So, um, and with that and the creation of uh, internet exchange points in a number of countries in the, in the region. Um, I have no doubt that um, um, something good will be happening in much sooner than later. Thank you.